Today, I wanted to show you how to use your Twitch points, your Twitch channel points to activate different scenes or sources on your stream. Uh, what we're going to be using today is OBS Studio and a, uh, a website called Triggerfire. I will have a link to Triggerfire in the description below that you can click on to go there yourself. I already have a bunch of stuff set up in there, the, uh, my water redemption, a follow, a subscription redemption. What I want to do is kind of play off what we did last video where we made a command that randomized stuff on stream. I'm going to do this same thing, but using Twitch points. That way you can kind of pick and choose which one you want to do, whether you like to do it via Twitch points or whether you like to just have it a random command in your stream. As always, if you find any value in this, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, come visit us on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern time. All right, let's get it done. So this is the Trigger Fire website. I'm already logged in. When you first go there, you're going to um, log in with your Twitch account and link them, and then you'll see something very similar to this. I don't have any images set up in mine. Uh, it's not something that I go for. It's really easy. Each one of these categories, the images, the videos, the sounds, the... Uh, the OBS and the groups. In, in, in each of them, you have 20 objects or, or things that you can do with it. I'm not going to go into all of them, but what it does essentially is you can add something by hitting the plus button in the bottom right-hand corner, and then you, you add an image or you add a video or you add a sound, very similar to what you would do in like Streamlabs. And then once you have those put into Trigger Fire, uh, all you do is you copy the browser link and then you insert into OBS with a browser source and use that link. Uh, and then it'll, it'll just show the video or show the image, um, whenever a, a point redemption or even a command is used. But what I'm going to focus on is the link to OBS because I already have all the videos and stuff in my OBS and I wanted to activate the actual files in my OBS they already have rather than uploading more stuff. So to do that, I'm going to click on the OBS tab. Uh, you can see I have my local host address because this is running on my local host. I have a password and both of these need to be set up in OBS themselves. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick because they need to be able to link. Okay. So in the tools dropdown menu, there is a little thing in here called WebSocket server settings. You want to click on that. You want to make sure that your server port says 4444. You do not have to put a password. I do just because. And as far as the checkboxes, I have enable authentication checked and then enable system trailer. It's checked. So with that done and OBS set up, you go back to your trigger fire and then um, in, make sure in the OBS tab, there's a little button that says connect to OBS. Make sure you're local host is the 4444 and then your password is correct. And if you hit connect to OBS, it should say connected. And if, if it is, then you have them linked and then you can continue. So you can see here, I have a total of seven different links to OBS from trigger fire at the moment. Like I said, I can go up to 20. So I'm going to add the five small little video clips that I have in OBS that I want to play at random via a Twitch point redemption. So what I do is I go down here and I hit the plus button so in the command name. I will put Gina one in the user level. I don't want people to just be able to use these commands. So I'm actually going to put it on broadcaster. Uh, the cooldown, I don't need a cooldown because it's me. And I never have cooldowns when I start doing things just so I can test them. And I don't want to have to wait 60 seconds to be able to test it. And so then manage action. I want a, uh, I want a source to be activated. So then I click on, click on my uh, scene name. I go down and find my Gina videos. And then my source in there is Gina one. I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds. So it'll activate it for 10 seconds and then take it away. And now that I'm in the edit menu, I should be able to hit the preview button and watch that little video show up where I put it in my uh, OBS. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to add the other four and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I have all five in there and now here's the step to make them randomized. So the next thing you want to do is add a Twitch redemption in your back office. And um, I'm assuming you know how to do this by now, but if not, you add a new custom reward. Uh, I am going to call this Gina videos. And again, you, this is one of those things that is case sensitive and it needs to be copied exactly. So 
I'm going to, while I'm at it, go ahead and control C now so I can paste it later. Uh, this is just a dummy one for me right now. So description is hello. Cost is going to be 100. Um, you can put your reward icons however you want to. Set it up how you normally would. Uh, I will have it skip and I will not have a cooldown because I want to be able to use it. If you have it set on cooldowns and limits, you will not be able to do it when you are offline. And I want to be able to test it when I am offline. So leave that unchecked. And then I just hit create. So now I have a new points redemption. And now I go back to our trigger fire and I'm going to go to the groups tab and I want to add a new group. So just like normal, you hit the plus on the bottom right hand corner. I am going to call this command. This is where I hit control V. So it's Gina's videos. And then there's this little bubble right here. And this is what links it to your redemption. So I want to hit that reward name. This needs to be exact. I do not want to allow the command because I want them to have to come in here and use the point redemption and not the command. So I hit save that actually grays out the use level. Um, so it has to be done with points redemption. So you click on manage group and it is going to be a random and you're going to create and add all five of the videos or the, the OBS links that you just created. So our triggers are going to be Gina one, Gina two, Gina three, Gina four, and Gina five. So the percent chance uh, added together has to equal 100. So since I want these to be a equal chance, um, I need each of them to be 20%. So if I'm going to go through here and make all of them 20%. If you want one that's like really hard to get, you can change the percentage to whatever you want to. If you want it to bring it down 1% and somebody redeems something and there's that small chance that that video or that uh, the scene, the, the source or whatever you have incorporated in this, um, and maybe they win a prize or whatever. It's the it gives you that opportunity to change the likelihood of of each event. So I'm going to hit save, um, save, and it should be good to go. If I go to my channel and I go to the redemptions, and we just added one. I think it's Gina's videos right there, and I click on it and I say redeem. It will play one of those random videos and I'll prove it. I will play a different one, assuming that it plays a different one because it is, it is random. There's a 20% chance that it's going to play that one again. Look, no, I see, saw... there's a different one. Uh, uh, will they kill each other? No. And that's that honestly setting up the ability for your stream redemptions to be able to play stuff on OBS. is actually really neat and it's really easy. Uh, like I said, it could be done with, images and sounds and videos and obviously the the obs link that i just showed you so i i hope that you're able to use this and and take off with it and play with it and make it your own i would love to see what you have to offer if you want me to come see i'd be happy to just put your twitch channel down in the description and i'll be happy to come see what you got anyway again thank you for watching and we'll see you next time peace yeah <laughs> Those the best cards, Amari. If you're if you're saying that when you're putting a card down, you know you have good cards. That's just part of the game. That's why I have a disclaimer when I start start it because it can be bad. <laughs> Little. <laughs> Little boy penises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, extremely tight jeans. I know it's the first one that got put up there. Somebody's like, oh, little boy penises. That's for sure. That's for sure the winner. Um, <laughs> extremely tight jeans. Okay. Uh, sudden poop explosion disease. That's like a legit reason. Accidentally conjuring a legless horse that can't stop ejaculating. <laughs> what?